all of these rappers that I think are sick and doing all these blah, 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 mm. fam, nobody's going to know your words. Yeah, when, exactly. And nobody knows me. So I need to, I just thought about <laughs> writing with as little words as possible. How can mm. I get this message across with as little words as possible? Killer, killer, podcast. Killer, killer, official .com. <laughs> you need the television app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Beatbox created. Killer, killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer, killer podcast. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Killer Podcast for your sins. Welcome to the show. You know how we do it every week. Street culture and more, all the disciplines. Woy hoy. Uh, big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk. Hold tight, everybody. Let's get our television app. You want that product? You want that supplies? We've got it right there on the app. Free download. All your street culture needs. Come on. And what better way to start your time of the week? we a lady that's absolutely killing it at the moment. I tell you what, I've been privy to the sound for the last two weeks on the treadmill I might add she's doing it she's doing it well goes by the name of Scooty what are you saying girl thank you pleasure to be here what's been going on I came from I came from Spotify that you said Scooty three times you had to listen to like three of my songs and say Scooty three times and I'll pop up <laughs> Candyman it's the Candyman effect say it three times pop up well, I didn't yeah, do that I, I, got, I got very lucky in fact to be fair I he was... probably emailed someone, to be fair. I don't know who, but he emailed somebody. He emailed the right person. Yeah, that's right. I tell you what, I was so prepared for Zoom. And then all of a sudden I got the call from you and you were like, I'm just around the corner. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Turn it all around pretty fucking quick. It looks hard, though. It's a that's nice right. setup. Uh, talk to me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Not, not a lot of people give me credit for the uh, setup, Consider I'm not a light when I sound. Big shout out to Jay inside the place. We saying? <laughs> Certified sound of lights, man. He knows the deal. We were literally just saying a minute ago. You can tell in the in the eyes of a, of of a, of a sound man, an editor, or a cameraman or lightsman how much work they've done. They're just dying inside, aren't they? That's just that's just the life that we lead. Um, talk to me about the life that you lead, girl. Talk to me about what's good. Fuck all, fam. Oh shit, am I allowed to swear? You can oh. do what you want. You can, <laughs> you I can was... swear. You can do what you want. This is your podcast. No, nah, man. Well, it's not, been hard for you. It's been hard all, over but... there. It's been hard over there. No, nah, man. It's cool, man. We be, we be, we be there. Yeah, because I was just thinking, if you know, from a, from an artist's point of view, it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Where you can't go out and do gigs or you can't go out and perform, you just get in the studio and start recording. Literally, but yeah, it de uh, it depends. Like I'm I'm mad picky anyway. Yeah. With like my setting, where I like to record and stuff. Like, not not picky to the set. Like I can record anywhere, but. I have to feel a certain way inside the place. So it could be a shed, it could be anywhere. Mm. But if it has the if it doesn't have the right vibe, I'm not gonna work. So I have to wait for those the right studios to be there. I'm in the studio all the time. Right. But like it's not as much as before. Is it assimilation? It's like you need you have do you have certain places where you record? Like do you know if I'm in that mood I go and record over there? Mm, more time, yeah. Like if I'm in, if I'm in, it depends. It's 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 only two moods mm. for recording with me, and that would be either I wanna polish mm. or I wanna draft. Yeah. Like, and sometimes it will be like I don't know what. Like if I don't know what I wanna do, it's all gonna be drafts. Mm. I'll just go in and make choruses, 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 and then I can polish them after. Really. That in that case i'll have to i'll have to even have a certain engineer with me mm. to do it if i'm if i'm polishing if it's like doing drafts i can record with anyone the draft bits to fund it yeah I literally think. it's like you don't need to think to, it's like a fun play like, no the polishing bit i like it as well because after the you see during the drafts it's like i'm writing as well blah blah, blah. it's like you're creating and that mm. and then it's almost like it's almost like I wrote a play and then when I'm polishing it, I'm actually mm. performing the play. It's oh. so like I've learned all my words. I know exactly how I want to say it. I know which pockets I want to hit. I know how I want the person to feel when they're listening mm. to it, everything. And I have to put that into the mic. 
So I like both of them. So I like anything to do with making my music. Does that throw you? If say for instance you you're in this polishing stage and you've had an idea of writing or or creating a song in a particular way, does it throw you off when the polishing starts happening? And uh, do you have a vision from the jump what a particular song is going to go like? Sometimes with yeah. with um some songs, it will it will be like it's just like even with videos. Sometimes I don't know what the fuck to do for the video, and sometimes it's like, but this has to be the video. We need to find someone that knows how to do this. Uh, like that's it. So you direct you direct a lot of your content video wise. Um, is that like a is? Well, my past like screw up and um, screw up and Lajon had a director, two different directors. Mm -hmm. But, like, both of the directors both said to me that I kind of direct myself. Like, yeah, I yeah. end up just... But they they have the rest of it, like, the... They know the cameraman, they know what is... They know... Like, I don't know what it's going to actually look like on the camera. Mm. I just know what I think it should, and you lot just have to make that... They know how to do that. They know how to... Mm. They know where to tell the cameraman to stand and that. I don't know all of that shit. I just mm. know, bruv, this, this, this. I've been there. You have this vision in your head of a thing that you want it to look like, and it's actually... It's not even... It's just a snapshot of what... You know, it could be just an angle or thing, but you know what it should look like, and you know what you're after. Yeah. A song conjures up so many of those kind of images, don't they? No, literally... Literally. But you've got like, hey, we were just saying this before, because I, I had the camera in focus. Jay was there, so I was also trying to impress him. <laughs> 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 but for, for real, like, I looked, took one look in the camera and very rarely do I get this f look at, and I'm like, yo, she looks good on camera. <laughs> like, I can just, you know, there is no non-selfie side with this one. Like, you literally just like pop, boom, like, yeah, I mean. They know what I'm talking about. They're going to be watching it. But for real, isn't it? You, you mentioned this. <laughs> no, nah, I'm joking. It's a real deal. Like, you've you got to have quite self a lot of self-awareness, particularly when you're writing a song to what you're going to be doing and what the video is going to be doing. You've got to have a bit of knowledge of self there, haven't you? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Actually, I'm modest now, but that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. Um, lyrically, you know, I've... And again, this is just through tireless runs on, on, on the treadmill... Um, listening to your stuff, you have a very, very uh, uh, you finesse, don't you? You 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 finesse tunes. I think you you you're very sure s sexually, and you know what your what your lane is, who you are. Like, I I very rarely do I hear somebody that do that doesn't hold back as much as you have on, on tunes and guys you should check out by the way check out check out the scooty man she her stuff is like there's one particular song actually it does differ from that a tune called lucky where you're talking about something with regard i i, I want to get into that a little bit more because that's felt a lot more personal but you do you finesse you <laughs> you've got your thing going on talk to me about the inspiration on this shit please I yeah i'm right right 100%. Yeah. <laughs> basically how, um, you know how, like, people say, well, pe a lot of people say to me, like, they use the word effortless. I think that came from, like, most of the time when I was younger and I'm going to studio, I had, like, what my manager, my manager now, he's my uncle, yeah. Mm -hmm. He always told me. uncle. In it, word. All day. Gang. He um always tells me, told me that I have a lazy flow in it. Mm. So... When I'm going into the studio and, and these engineers are telling me more energy, more energy, like to me, like I've grown up with like my uncles and my dad rapping and that, yeah. So they're like the best rappers to me, like shut up. So when these, um, <laughs> when these little engineers are telling me energy, energy, and my uncles already told me that my flow is a thing, yeah. I'm like, no, nah, like, then when I started getting more, like, not cocky, but when I started getting more secure in my thing, like, mm. And what I'm writing makes sense mm. and and like people are liking it. Then I started realizing like, bro, this is my like thing. Then I just started rapping like it. I know that I need to be calm to convey my message. A lot and you know, you can take a few cues from this people. Like for lyricism and execution, doesn't matter what 
doesn't matter what you are told. It's knowledge yourself. It's know what you're about. You sound exactly how you sound on a record. Yeah. To try and relate, relay that in any other way on a record just would not meet your personality. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm saying. I wanted, I want people to, like, it, it. Essentially, I want you to hear my music and know, like, feel like you know me, rather than feel like I'm some, like, if I get big or nothing. Mm. I don't want no one to think I, they can't see me on the street, mm. uh, or they can't be, like, say, say was somewhere. I'm not gonna be acting like scooty. Like, I'm mm. just there, like. You get like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want people to feel like I'm anything, then so that's is, why I'm just super me. important, super important, isn't it? Literally, obviously, there's some there's songs where you're gonna have to change your tone and stuff, but that's normal, like, like my main body, mm. like the main rap is always just me. There's the, when you when you change your tone or your, your approach to certain lyrics on some songs, I've always found they become little entry holes for people that wouldn't normally be into your stuff to get to know you a little bit deeper. You know, you, there used to be like the commercial song. They yeah. used to break it through. But now it's actually more about the subject matter. Yeah, yeah. Is there strings with it? Does it pull the heart strings of, of people? No, literally, I think my new music is a bit more um, like that. Really? Like more, like the music that's out now is... Is is me talking about me, but I was less open. Yeah. Yeah. As it's still not as but open and that, but it's just more. There's a yeah. lot more content. content is, is wow. Every song has a, a meaning. Every song has a meaning. Yeah, it's like it's like every song is its own little vibe and that. Yeah, so that's super important, isn't it? Literally. I do like I do like albums for that. You, on an average, every day I wouldn't listen to an album. I don't think I ever listened to an album in my life like that properly. Not, not knowing in like what. I don't think I will make an album until. I think I'll make an album in like ten years. I not think there's ten years. But like actually, an album is like it's a lot, isn't it? A thing like that is like a really big deal. Maybe like. <laughs> like seven years or something like that. Something. Forget real, because like you've got to do. People listen to playlists, don't they? Word, like, it has to be... It has to make so much sense. It just has to... That's, like, 20 songs. What? Yeah. I can't even listen to 20 songs. <laughs> that... <laughs> what? There's no time for that shit, man. I think... I've, I've always had this feeling that... With how many people there are in the world, there's at least three songs for every person in the world. There's so many songs out there. Literally... No, there's actually too much music. There's music that no one's even heard of. Like, no one's heard there's of. someone releasing a track right now, like waiting for the upload and that. Is. <laughs> yeah, it's <There's> someone <laughs> waiting for the upload right now. They're right now, everyone's upload. The, yo, that is so true. And then with podcasts as well. Yo. Yeah, but there's so much now. I don't even know what to listen to. I just that's how I just sleep. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you feel, yeah, is there enough time to listen? I mean, what are your influences? Like, what were your influences growing up? What were you into? Boy, when I was growing up, obviously, I just listened to what my parents listened to. So what like, did they listen to? What was that? Like, like, Funky House. Nice. Uh, obviously, 90s, 80s music yeah. and that. Like, All that, yeah. Reggae and that. Nice, get. yeah. But, um... I actually got and my mom, well, my mom liked to dance, in it, so... So it's always, I don't know, like, most of my family, it's always music. music. Yeah. Even if it's gospel, it's music. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's music. So, yeah. It's lots of, like, little people that play instruments or people that, just different types of people mm. but all around me, so. It's mad. What about your uncle? Because your uncle obviously takes care of your, he handles business, old time uncle. So what, was he an MC back in the day? He used to rap still, but yeah. he don't he don't do it now. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's hard though. Really, yeah. You know what? It was like Grime. Was it, yeah? Do anyone I we think know? It's called Grime. Uh, I don't I don't remember what the the whole 
group was called, right. so I don't remember. But there was one like pirate radio and that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so they were obviously making moves, shaking. Yeah, they was doing that thing, but yeah, no. Like this is this is he's even in school these times and that like. Oh right, so back in the day. Like yeah. It's fucking great because when I hear your stuff, it's it's a it's emerging it's it's merging, it's it's like a bunch of different influences that are going on. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's obviously the the sounds. No, nah, yeah, the time. you see that as well. I kind of, I kind of like as I, growing up and that, like, obviously when I so when I got to like when I was like eleven to like, for no, not thirteen, no, like eleven to like mm. six, fifteen, sixteen. Yeah, I was listening to like just trap like. Not even UK really, like the US stuff. Just yeah, yeah just you can hear the US and, influence and, and, and stuff. What do you call it? Like Chicago, John. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, then, you were you were there early. You were on the early stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. I lured that with the black dreadlocks. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking. So then, when I got older, I was kind of like, I think. You see, when I started doing shows in, like, 2017, I started thinking, wow, like, like, cool, this is good, like, getting good reception and that, but how can I make sure? Because the tunes that I was listening to, it's like after two months, I'm not even listening to it anymore. That's true. So, mm. how can I make sure? I'm going, like, I'm, I'm, I started thinking back to when I was younger and stuff, and I'm going to part- parties with my mum and that, like, you know, not parties, but, like, christenings, all of that. Mm. What what am I hearing in, what what's playing all the time? Like, what music is always playing? Mm. It doesn't matter what year it is, the music, you're still hearing it now. Mm. Same music at the wedding funerals, mm. everything. So I, I wanted to know how they make it timeless, mm. even down to, like, um, I like to sit with producers when they're making the beat, like, and I know that when, like, and I clock that with me, I kind of realised that a song is older by the hi-hats. So yeah. I was like, when there's too much hi like, try to... Um, Triplets and all that. And yeah, try to keep all of that out so yeah. that it can be. And I tried to um, listen to, like, what did they talk about? Even I, I went to go listen to, like, even, like... I don't know what to call it. I just call it like Calvin Harris music. Like yeah. I just yeah, want to listen EDM to stuff. like all of that that has like all these. Why do they have billions of? Why do they have billions of streams and like, why like I want to know. In the bank? That's like, the other thing. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I need to know if I'm like I was listening to <laughs> what they're saying and that like mm. proper. And then, yeah. So I guess everything influences me. Yo, that's that's deep, you know, because when we go back to you polishing, the the standards and the quality of the songs, you've you've actually created that pathway in the creative process where you you know at this point it's game over, we're now getting into polishing this thing. And you're thinking of things like that. You're thinking of subconsciously, right, what's, what did that producer do to make that timeless? What did they do with that hi-hat? To before, get before I even got to that thought process, my first thought was, like, when I first started performing, my first thought was, I need to I need to not... You know, like, all of these rappers that I think are sick and doing all these... Blah, 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 mm. fam, nobody's going to know your words. Yeah, when, exactly, yeah. And nobody knows me. So I need to... I just thought about <laughs> writing with as little words as possible. How can mm. I get this message across with as little words as possible? Yeah. And then when I did, like, my fifth or sixth show, like, was no ma Oops, sorry. Right. You're not meant to say that word anymore, apparently. But guys we'll give a known, little beatbox sound <laughs> Guys has known my whole yeah. lyrics on that already and that, so Yeah, you know what? Uh talking of double time triplets da, 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 with your rhyme flows and stuff, one thing that okay Buster Rhymes is exempt because Buster Rhymes is a bit of a don. But a lot of the more contemporary rappers Drill artists, grime MCs, you can hear their voices and you can hear what they're saying. I th- you know, 50 Cent, well, I remember when he first came out and he said something along the same lines, like, don't bother with any of that stuff because that ain't going to sell me. Mu- that ain't going to sell music. It's not going to sell records. Literally. Like, I, I think 
what you said, like, about clarity. So important. Like, that's... You see, like, I was listen. I listened to, like... Nothing against Young Fug because he's one of my favourite yeah, artists. Yeah, like, yeah. He's he's a goat in my head. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I was listening to a lot of that and in my head I'm just thinking there's no fucking way on earth I would ever sound anything <laughs> like this because how the fuck can I get people to like me and I don't know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I don't know what he's saying. He just makes it sound cold. Is my thing not going to sound like that? Do you get it? Like, but a lot of people do imitate and it doesn't work. Exactly. It doesn't just because just leave it to him. Like nobody, I don't want to hear any. I, well, it, it might even work. It might sound good. And I just don't want to hear it because mm. it's not, it's not your fuck. Do you get it? Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to hear it. Yeah. You better do your own thing. Like, can you just, like, influence? Like, mm. that's what I'm saying. Like, influence. I, a lot yeah. of music is the same now. It's annoying. So it I don't know what same, to listen man. to. Listen, look, and he ain't me dogging you. I don't want to come across like an old head at all because I absolutely agree with you. But on the flip side, and here's the way I guess I, I kind of figure it out, is there's certain elements that seasonal within music genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And you've just got to find the gold dust out of them and use them, but no, fuck the rest bro. of it off. Do you know what I mean? Fam, this is even what I was talking about when they go through, like... Like eras, like there's obviously the eighties, nineties, noughties, then there's the twenty tens, mm-hmm. the twenty twenties. That's what we're in now. Yeah. So like, there's obviously that's why there's like, I don't know. It's like there's gonna be that's why there's like a little shift. Mm. You can feel the shift now, actually, can't you? It's almost like things were some things that I listen to now. I'm like, yeah, well, I can even tell which month that was done. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, do you know what I mean? Like, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm not. My ears are not that good. My ears are not that good. I won't lie to you. But when you talked about listening the to other stuff, people's, li- I didn't. When I'm listening to other people's stuff. Like if I'm in the studio and it's my own stuff, then I'm have to like mm. obviously know what I want it to sound like. Can you hear what? Can you hear a scooty beat? Can you hear it and you'd be like, yeah, 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 that's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Because when I hear your stuff, uh, I think uh, harmonic. Like, you've got a lot of harmonics. Like, guys, again, you need to check this out. That's all. Harmonics and guitars, harmonics and pianos. It's like, there ain't so much hi-hat triplets going on. It's quite, it's quite spacey. Yeah, yeah. And then when you come in, other areas are filled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Literally. Well, yeah, that's why, that's exactly why it's better to, well, I feel like it's better to be in the studio with the producer rather than, you know, when people send beats and mm. all of that. Blah, so blah. you write them from scratch, that's what you're saying? You write them no, with no, the No, 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 sometimes, sometimes I've already got a chorus. I've already got a, I've already written mm. whatever, yeah, but, like, the actual beat, most of the time, it's just made there, like, or... Like, I've got a couple songs mm. where I've walked in and the producer was making the beat already, and then I'm like, yeah, you're like, let's 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 run. What the fuck's that? Yeah, word. <laughs> <laughs> I jump in and like, there. Yeah. But most of the time, we just make it. Or I think I think the the large one beat. Shout out JDB. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he yeah. fucking. That's tough. He he he. He was he was playing me beats or something, mm. and then I heard that one. Then I just started writing like straight away. So oh yeah, the gods opened their doors, and it was like you were the vessel. He was like, yeah, I don't know. He 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 done started a beat after we yeah. made the song and that, but I, I, yeah. I love those moments, you know, when it's almost like zeitgeist, like all of a sudden that beat works with what you're doing and next minute it's the thing you chase as an artist isn't it you chase for those moments of like i want that and it it comes together like so quickly it's almost like that's the shit that i love no yeah sorry (laughs) oh man no yeah i like i like i like when we work quick i had a couple songs where to be fair (laughs) <laughs> it was all in the same like I feel like it's because I was using that 
same studio for like a couple months. Mm. Like it made me start working quicker and that. It's just like when I was in school and that, mm. I had to do my homework at school. Like I can't do work at home. I feel you. Like it's not the the setting. <laughs> you see the shit. <laughs> This isn't like, you know, you're right. It's like, I don't like going to the gym. I don't, I don't like doing it at home. I go to the gym. gym. Yeah. You go to the gym. Yeah. I don't, it's like, it's like, for instance, I tell you, it's like you go out to work. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't like yeah. the idea of like, no, I don't record at the gym. No, that's why I want to, that's why I want to, um, that's like why I want to live out of London. And come to work in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to be separate. Cause it's business. It's it's business. That's what you go and that's what you you have to go and assign yourself to do something. Cause then it's more rewarding. Literally. Yeah. Um, talk to me about Lucky. Cause as a tune. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I thought honestly, I thought that was. <laughs> yeah, I got confused. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm so sorry. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, um, yeah, lucky. Yeah, talk to me about lucky. Talk to me about the subject matter and what that was, what, what that's about. Because I felt that was quite a respite in the 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 the, the storyline of of the tunes. It all of a sudden it kind of got it, it it got to a place that was a little more serious, and it had a it, it, there was a, there was obviously a, a precursor to that. What what was that about? Uh. Um, what's the song about? Yeah. Or why did it do in that all off? The song. Uh, that some stuff that was happening when I was younger. Right. In the house and that. Right. Personal stuff. Yeah. Or well, like, yeah. Obviously. Like, like, <laughs> hey, very help me out. <laughs> but it, she wanted it to touch a subject where, like, a lot of people face, and it's like it's an issue that happens, and it's like more of like a song that would get the harsh. Okay, obviously, because it will like help people in it. Like, I'll go quickly over it. Mm-hmm. Go quicker, click so quickly over was, it. Go for when it. When I was little, yeah. Yeah. I like witnessed like domestic violence a lot in it. Right. And like it's like I don't know why. No, I do know why. There was like one person in like because it was like more than one person that I witnessed it from. Yeah. Mm. But it's like one person that it bothered me. Like he bothered me mm. more than the best. Yeah. Mm. So. Like, what was being a bit I more forceful like, than the rest? Was it more? He was more. He was more kind of. No, he was just like. It's like he had a hold, a different kind of hold. It's like he was there for long. Like he was like because of him, why I left my house and all of this stuff. Right. When I was younger okay. And stuff. So, like, yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> But, <laughs> but fucking, yeah, that's, I basically wanted to say that in a nicer way. I wanted to say, like, 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 because I, for my self, I can't, like, you know, I'm going to go looking for him and all of this, mm. like, it just has to play its course. That was basically what the song was trying to say like and like I don't know it's like not not in a rude way but when I was writing the song I didn't give a fuck about anybody else like I was just trying to talk to the younger me like I was just trying to tell me that it's calm now do you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. like I just had to lay it out I didn't give a fuck about nobody else and obviously I realised that it can help other people for and I'm, sure. I'm grateful for that, that I was able to be vulnerable enough to write that in that moment. But, yeah. Cold. Because <laughs> you know what? The way that you articulated that in the tune, it does... 
okay, now you say that it resonates in the way that you're talking to your younger self, but actually you're talking for other people too. Yeah, like, yeah. That's so cool. I've got so much time for that. And it's so important that... I'm glad we addressed this because although it's an uncomfortable conversation in part, I think it's a subject It's a subject that I think goes on that not enough people talk about. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Mm. You know that's what creates longevity. Yeah. Well. That's the real deal. If you can throw honesty out there, <laughs> that's what creates longevity. You know? That's why people... I don't, how, when did you make that tune? Um, so, my, um, my guy Tian used to um, produce most of my music here yeah, when we was, like, younger. Mm. Obviously, we've gone, like, to do different things now, what, mm. come back and whatever. Mm. See, it's yeah. 2018 when you made it, so 2021 when I'm sitting there no, listening to it. No, but it's 2018 when I, when I, when I, Wrote just the chorus. So you and then twenty nineteen, yeah, because it's end of twenty eighteen when I wrote the chorus, and twenty nineteen, I met Jack and then yeah. It goes to show it holds water in time and integrity, you know. Just means that, yo, that shit you can play at any point and it still hits home. That's just cold. That's the kind of thing you want to pull off, you know? That's the thing you want to do, right? You want to make... Like you are. Yeah, yeah. You know? Literally. Try to, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Doesn't always work. No? Well, I don't know. Sometimes. How many tunes do you make? How many tunes do you make a month? And how many of them do you feel like hits the the batting average of successful tunes? Make for your For your... I don't, I don't, I take long to make songs. I'm really? not gonna lie to you. <laughs> it's only some songs that it will be like, I, I just go in the booth and mm. blah blah. But most of my songs, like, I don't know. I don't feel like you can rush music. I don't, I don't, um, like, I commend these people that can just go in. Yeah, I know. Go you and mean. make like 10 songs. Yeah. But like, I have to sit down and think about. And this, and change my melody a couple of times. And yeah. Did it like I'm so weird. Like I'm the same. <laughs> I have I have loads of I have loads of songs, mm. unfinished songs. But I won't start recording until I get to a certain point. Yeah. So you get so because like, you've got it ingrained in your head. Sort most of, thing. of the time, when I go into the studio, like right. it's like we can work on about five songs. Yeah. We can work on like three songs or whatever. Mm. But they're not actually. Done. Like I haven't recorded, mm. or I may have recorded, but it's only the chorus just to help me um, with filling the verse or whatever. Filling the blanks, like yeah. whatever it is, it's not finished. Mm. So I wouldn't say that I've made a song. Yeah. Mm. It's craftsmanship that you're after, isn't it? You want to make sure that every little bit is right because you know it's gonna last forever. People rush that shit too quickly, I think. Yeah, no. I I, I had to remember, well, not. T- yeah, man, I have to remember that I'm young, like, yeah. these these people mm. are just, like, in a rush. Yeah. I'm easy. <sighs> yeah. Do you take a lot of influence from your surroundings? Like, what's life like for you now? Talk to me about day in the life, Scooty. T- talk to me about, talk to me about what, because, you know, you say that, you know, you can't rush. So there's clearly a well that's been filled with information and your I your journey. This morning. Yeah. Smile with the rising sun. Three little birds. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to get the strings out then. I was like, yeah, this is the intro to her album, man. This is a, she's going to love this. <laughs> no. Um, what's it called? Yeah, no. This is kind of like my normal day in life. Like I wake up, not like me coming to a place like this. It will be like today I woke up, and the manager calls me. Mm. Well, I buy my jeep, whatever, yeah. all of that stuff. Yeah. Whereabouts do you live? Where's your home? South London. South London. Hold tight, South London crew. What's life like down there? It's good. It's yeah. peaceful. 
There's nothing happening what you think is happening. Yeah. It's all good. Is it? What do you think people think is happening down there? I don't know. They just associate South London with bad stuff. But, mm. like, it's not... I think South London is the best place to be from out of the Londons, out of the North East. Like, yeah. It's mad connected. It's mad diverse. I love the diverseness there's, of stuff. There's so much. There's so much stuff that you can do. Yeah. In it, like any different part of South, there's so much stuff that you can do. I feel you. There's so many like people to connect. There's so many like, bro. <laughs> you have to pass through South London yeah. to like if like it does doesn't make like someone that you know that's that's important that can like do some like they're from South like. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's at least the, one person in your life do you get. And it's so, it's so, it feels like, I mean, a lot of my friends hold tight myself, London crew, they so grounded and down to earth and they just like, they just want to help. And like you say, the diversity. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, it's like, so, yeah, man. Yeah. I feel like, obviously, nothing against the other areas because you all go to, bro, I'm in a whole north setting now. Yeah, like. welcome to the north. Are you climatizing? She's a bit out of breath to begin with. She's got a bit dizzy, but she's, she's, you know, she's, yeah, she likes these higher reaches, you know. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, climbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, no. Um, I wondered why you were looking a bit dizzy. When I'm high, bro. <laughs> 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 what, what, um, what uh-huh. are you trying to say? Yeah, man. All the other areas, yeah. You go there mm-hmm. as well, like, there's, obviously, versus, like, whatever yeah. you do there. Well, I don't really go there, but whatever you do there. I, I feel you. I'm not yeah. so west west, I, you know. I'm not. I'm no, I'm more not west west. I'm more north and south. Mm. There's more studios up. Yeah, that's up right. Not the Camden area, that kind of north or Tottenham, that kind of area. All of it. Yeah, all of it. Even like, what do you call that? King's Cross. Yeah, King's Cross. Uh, or pirate studios, that kind of thing as well. No, not pirate. I don't really like to use that. Stuff. Really? Talk, talk to me why. What's it's just not your. It, the, <laughs> there's no vibe. No, it's no vibe. It's, it's like just it's an empty room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the room is nothing. Yeah, yeah. Not like anything against it, but again, it's not I your need thing. a, I need a. Yeah, it's not your thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something. Mm-hmm. some green tea peng shit. You know, you need some vibe. You need some. Like a plant or something yeah. like. <laughs> 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 just... <laughs> I know what you mean. It's just like anything. You know what I mean? Take your shoes off at the door, have a cup of tea ready, get your fucking Yeah, I like to have my, my slippers on in yeah. the studio and that. Okay. Have your comfy space. This is the place where, you know what I mean? You're cultivating something new. I know what you mean. I used to love going around studios, which felt like home. Do you know what I mean? If you don't feel like you're, oh, look, there's a big desk with 18 channels and look, you've got to go in that room to record and, and it's all like dry and shit. I used to like just vibing. Definitely all about that. So what's the future? It's a cigarette. It's a cigarette, by the way. What's your future? Talk to me about the future. Um, My future? I don't know. I, I know, I hope, yeah, it will be. I hope. That like I can release more videos and like just further solidify myself. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know, for me, yeah, it's always more personal, like I wanna just get better. Mm. Like if I if I keep getting better. Everything else will follow. Yeah, everything will just kind of fall into place. If I like but by getting better, like I have to better my performance I mm. have to better my like everything to do with it as a because you whole, love like, performing don't you, you, you yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's your shit that was like my USP yeah <laughs> Ooh. when I was gone yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh but man yeah, I do back. miss that it'll be back it'll be back it'll be back and then we'll be seeing you live and that's and then you'll have to come around here and tell us all about it yeah man do you know what I mean that'd be like some sort of endorphin rush when you get on you can come you, when I if I like do I might uh, say I was to do like a headline show or something. Yeah. You can come with us and come vlog and that and then we'll yeah. come back and that's talk what I'm about saying. It. See what I'm saying? That's what I like to hear. Jay on the camera, hold tight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen.
Scoot inside the place. Thank you so much for joining us, girl. Really appreciated the time. Vibes. Love this. Yeah. Hold tight. And if you haven't checked the stuff out, make sure you do. Do not sleep on that. I repeat, do not sleep on that. Repeat. We're out as in we were out like it was out of fashion. You get out quicker than we knew it. And still we're doing it. All right. Stay lucky, people. Look after yourselves. Don't talk to anyone. I wouldn't. Peace. <laughs> yeah, that's it.